you've seen out of your bunch as a whole through camp? Yeah, it's a it's an awesome group to work with. Their uh, experience, you know, we have some veteran guys at the top that have played a lot of football. Those guys are, you know, leading the pack from the top, and uh, and the younger guys are like they're ready to roll, you know, and they've gotten a lot of reps and a lot of experience over the first couple of weeks. So I'm really excited about it. We're just trying to we're trying to strengthen the team overall as a linebacker unit. So anything we can do to mirror the message, you know, of Coach Lee's mission and of Vanderbilt's mission, um, that's what our aim is in this group. So I'm excited about you know where we're at, but. Uh, more importantly, like we do have a lot of work to do, so I'm excited about the gains that we can make over the next couple of weeks before we start the season. How would you evaluate the battle between the Yeah, I think both those guys um, have played a ton of reps during camp, so they've both had a chance to put their skill set on display. And I think ultimately, it's like again, how can they how can they strengthen the unit and how can they strengthen the team? They both are really good players. They're savvy. They're smart. Like they're they yeah, that'll work. Okay. They're they're savvy. They're smart. Um, they really have like a good knack for leading the unit, and that's what we need. Like we we ask for our linebackers to command the defense. So both of those guys, having played a lot of football, um, having a lot of experience, and just being like good physical, instinctual football players, it's like there's zero drop off when they are on the field. So um, that's exciting to see. How much fun is it coaching the, the Patterson brothers together? Yeah, it's awesome. They're uh, like talk about the the linebacker DNA that we want. Like yeah. tough, smart, competitive finishers. Those guys are like um, they're starving for like knowledge for football knowledge. I mean, they're like harassing me in my office every day, trying to get more. You know, as, as far as the install, as far as you know, hey coach, can we, can we watch this? Um, they're both wired the same way. So, um, you know, obviously their their parents, uh, Wes and Camille, they they did a great job. There's something in the water there in the Patterson um, household, but um, but it's it's fun. Um, it's a fun dynamic in the meeting room too. Yeah. You know, they're they're back and forth, and then watching them together. You know, I think it happened for the first time maybe last week where they were on the field together, and uh, and I think we called a blitz because we knew that you know the Patterson brothers are they're like battering rams. You know, they're they're gonna get home. So um, so that's that's been that's been really fun. I'm, I'm so like fortunate and blessed to be able to coach guys like that. Yeah. I didn't realize Bryce Cowan is as big as he is yeah. until recently. Uh, what do you think of him so far? And could, I mean, can you view him as an anchor long term, or can he play inside linebacker? Yeah, I think I think ultimately the great part about him is he has the ability to play both. Um, he is big and long and rangy, and there's even stuff. You know, obviously as a freshman, it's like. It's, it's hard to come in and master the playbook right away, but he's done a great job of picking it up. He's very conscientious. Um, and then and then with him, it's like he'll find his way into plays, you know? Even if he doesn't necessarily know exactly, you know, what the terminology is or what he's supposed to do, he'll find his way into plays. So I think he has a natural instinct that's that's really good, so that's exciting to see. And he, he's another guy who's very, like, he's relentless and he's starving for, for knowledge, so that's fun to see too. Yeah. Anything else, Coach? Thanks, Coach. Good. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Appreciate